Hey folks, this is Long Dock Park in Beacon, New York. At one time, this was a stop for the passenger ferries that used to travel the Hudson. In 1827, the American poet, William Cullen Bryant, was waiting for a ferry back to New York City. Bryant was so moved by what he saw that day standing on the dock that he composed a poem. It's called A Scene on the Banks of the Hudson. And it begins like this. Cool shades and dews are round my way in silence of the early day. Mid the dark rocks that watch his bed glitters the mighty Hudson spread. Unrippled, save by drops that fall from shrubs that fringe his mountain wall. And o'er the clear, still water swells the music of the Sabbath bells. So one chilly morning, I went to Long Dock Park. I had a copy of a scene on the banks of the Hudson in my pocket, and I was hoping to understand Brian's poem just a little bit better. I was hoping to get a little insight, see what moved him to write it. All save this little nook of land, circled with trees, on which I stand. All save that line of hills which lies suspended in the mimic sky. Seems a blue void above, below, through which the white clouds come and go. And from the green world's farthest steep, I gaze into the eerie deep. William Cullen Bryant was a much celebrated poet for his day. And he was friends with many of the artists from the Hudson River School. Bryant promoted the beauty of these hills in words in much the same way that those artists did on canvas. This is a painting by Asher B. Durand. It's called Kindred Spirits. And on the ledge stands the founder of the Hudson River Art School, Thomas Cole. And right next to Cole stands William Cullen Bryant himself. Loveliest of lovely things are they on earth that soonest pass away. The rose that lives its little hour is prized beyond the sculptured flower. Even love, long tried and cherished long, becomes more tender and more strong. At thought of that insatiate grave from which its yearnings cannot save. Now I often meet people on visits to the sites for this channel. And on the dock that day, I met a recording artist. His name was Hooks Arthur. And we chatted for a while. I shared Brian's poem that I had in my pocket. And then Hooks Arthur told me something. He said he comes to the dock often. He goes there to write. Just like William Cullen Bryan all those years ago, the spot on the river still inspires. Before I headed home, I took a final look back at the highlands, and I got it. Some places are just special. This place is special. This place is timeless. William Cullen Bryant, Hooks Arthur, poets and writers through the ages, they've tried to put that into words. Painters and photographers, they've tried to capture it. There's an undeniable magic here. So here's the last verse to Bryant's A Scene on the Banks of the Hudson. And the music you're about to hear is a composition by Hooks Arthur, the artist I met that morning out on the dock. It's called The Waterfront. River, in this still hour thou hast, too much of heaven on earth to last. No long may thy still waters lie, an image of the glorious sky. Thy fate and mine are not repose, and ere another evening close, thou to thy tide shalt turn again, and I to seek the crowd of men. Thank you.